Hello, beautiful people from here, from there, and from everywhere. This is Ilesama. I'm here to show you my journal, which I started last year, and I was able to finish it by the end of the year because I decided to do the challenge of uh, working with the 25 days of the month. However, I decided to add until the end of the month. So every day I was working on it and I like it more and more. And I, I'm so glad that I was able to succeed and achieve my goal. This book, um, I got it uh, from Jessica Rapp when she had her 300 subscribers, I believe, and she gave two three people, the lucky ones, um, some, some of the journals and, and all their little um, beautiful pieces which I enjoy it in some way, somehow I'm going to be working with each of them eventually. However, I was able to finally fill, fill up this one and finish it and now well, it finished with the embellishments and the adorns and everything that I would like to add. And of course, I will have to now write on it. I was first, uh, was my intention to write only my short stories, which I love to. However, I think I did only the three or four and it just it seems like I didn't have it time is always something some other projects came me apart for from it so then i said okay i want i want to finish this i want to fill it up i and i decide to do for december so i would like to mention first um, how i i put the cover and the back of the book and later and also and later i will show you uh, the inside First, I would like to show you this, like a kind of ribbon that I make. And of course, it was Christmas time, so I have to use red, green, and white. This it says here, Vive la Vida, meaning live life. You probably heard the word of the phrase that always Frida Kahlo mentions, Viva la Vida something like a uh, hooray to life but i always love to use vive la vida it's live life and this is so much to me it has so much meaning to me because um this is what i'm that's what i'm doing uh, every day i have to make every day special i have to make every day something matters to me and i had to create something so I can leave a little trace of me once I am gone. Life is so short and, and it's so beautiful that um, I must I must do something in order for me to fulfill while I'm in this beautiful paradise. Uh, let me mention to you that each of the buttons which I love are being sewn and um, they are everyone is different so and all of them are white so i can put either like that or if i do really want and just tighten it very close and embrace the whole book so kind of comes like that brace and then i will have to kind of or maybe in this case here, here. So it will be a little bit close, close, closer, close. And and if it's close like that, I could maybe tighten a little bit farther. But anyway, it will be something like this. Or if I leave it just the way it was before then you know that it is expands and is about this i do not remember how many pages were are there but there is a 
it's quite thick. I think there are five signatures. I think she put five signatures. One, two, three, four. I think yes, they are five signatures. And um, and on the back, I um, I decided to decorate it like this. These are what they call a sari, sari silk um, ribbons or something or thread. Uh, I I love the colors and I really like them a lot and so that's what I put them here but the only thing I don't like about it is because they are very easily to come apart so if I if I stretch this one just a little bit it will come quite easy you know separates from one to another so I must try to find a different way to use them because I really like the material it's so colorful but it's not something that I would like to you know to put it like this to kind of stretch or up and down or something or maybe I have to glue it or sewing in between to you know to make it sure they attach and maybe you know what I mean go around and sew it but anyway I will have to find different way to use this material in my other projects because I still have not too much but I still have a, 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 an amount of it so this one I as you can see I put um, lots of uh, what we call milagros around here and they are used in a um, religion um, and if you buy them and then you ask to your um, saying that when you are devoted you ask for favor maybe the cute of a family or, or somebody has problems or accident or some situation and if that person uh, gets okay and, and is able to survive to the situation then you go to the church and then you bring these little things these metal things and then you put it on the on the same with a pin and those are the milagros and I like to I love them uh, so I put them here and it's just it just brings me the colors of Mexico very colorful so I as I mentioned to you that the, this book is about stories at the beginning a little short stories and I like to write but I I decided to change later so let's try to see if I can show you a little bit here the beginning of this one it says something like um, let me see if I can make it uh, maybe a close-up And this part at the beginning of the book, I wrote something. Who will take care of you if it's not me? Who will take care of me if it's not you? I'm talking about the nature. The nature is the one who takes care of me, nurtures me, and gives me and provides me with the oxygen and food. And of course, human beings, they are farmers. They are the wonderful people who are able to grow that and, and farming and harvest and all that but nature mother earth is the, the the seed is the ground of all these possibilities we are able to make the, the human beings so that's what I'm saying here who will take care of you if it's not me and who will take care of me if it's not you taking care of the nature will take care of me if I take care of me I, I'll be able to take care of the nature this one is um, a little boot shape and this the beginning because well I'm gonna walk through this journal or whatever things that I might write is they had to do with me walking and me uh, you know doing my daily things and from there writing my thoughts or writing whatever I see or, or whatever uh, I have learned or things about that happened to me during the day or during the process of the week so blessed and these are um, just the beginning of this page it's a fabric i like to use a lot of fabric elements and this is like a secret spot and i saw it first and then i stitch it 
This story talks about an apple. I'm not going to tell you about these stories, but it, it, it talks about an apple, so of course that's what I draw here, an apple. And also, this story talks about some ceramic plates, which are made in Puebla and in Costa La Vera. And this is the design of one of the plates. That's what I, I did, that little drawing. And then, a little bit farther, we're going to see um, also another drawing which is also another play which was made by one uh, one was made by the grandma another one i believe was made by the the, the mother or the father of the little girl which is the one who is uh, happening in this story this is a little spot which uh, you will be able to write something there and and i just got stuck to i think okay now Anyway, it's a little spot to, to write in this washi tape and a little bit of fabrics. This is another drawing. This is a, one of my uh, um, garabatos or one of my ways I like to uh, write or draw. This is another of my drawings. And then more uh, on the pages. It's just a little teeny pieces of collage, a little teeny pieces with um, maybe fabrics or papers. And here is a little uh, story that tells this um, little bird. It says, I tell and I sing my stories, my short stories. And, and if you hear them, I want you to tell them and sing them, the short stories. Because this will make me very happy. It's some kind of translation like that. So this one is also part of the story. There was a chair, and this is the chair that I draw. And there was a happy moment, so this is the way I uh, describe those happy moments. Here is a little girl, and the bird is saying, Vuela, vuela, que las alturas te esperan, meaning something like a fly, fly, because the heights are waiting for you. A little collage flower in that page, and more collage with fabrics and paper and and here it says, run, run. And there are a lot of things to do, and that's right. <laughs> Sometimes I have to run and because I just feel like it is no time, you know, it's not enough time. It's the, all the things that are going around and in my head and, and all the projects and all the things that I would like to do, so it's always something. And here I wrote something in English. It says something like, take a risk so you won't miss the magic of each moment. Yes. And this one, I wrote something like, I love you, you are free, I love myself, I am free. And here I started with the Christmas time, in this, in this part. And it says, and have you made me happy and when I'm far away from you, too. And here I said, this is Christmas, Christmas is here. Oh my goodness, the time really flies. And this is an ornament which I draw. The light, we don't have a very good light, sorry, but hopefully we are able to see it. This is a fabric, a little secret spot. This is some, uh, some of my clips that I make. This is a beautiful heart shape with a flower. This one is from Gail. Um, I saw one of her videos and I, I like to use that one. This is more of my clusters coming from Jessica Ideas. Um, clip is actually a clip. This is another of my drawings. Okay, we are already in the third day of the month and here are some tags, little tiny tags. I may. Well, everything obviously has to be small because the book is small. It's about like three inches and a half by three inches and a half, I believe. This is another tag of a beautiful, beautiful um, Pascua Nochebuena or Cuetlazochil, as we say in the uh, Nahuatl language. This is a little collage. These are the ends of this part, and I decided to put it here. 
number four i have this um, nice piece of jacquard ribbon which came from rachel from roxy creations oh and here i wrote something like look for those things that make you happy or those that make you stronger then i wrote here ojo in spanish and here look <laughs> and here is a little small booklet or you know like space to write i don't know if it well um, I, like a um cascada i don't know how you say like a photo wall book and um it says moments and hidden it says here and now with snoopy then i have the fifth which is a little drawing of a um, this flower i think it actually should be dandelion yeah i think that's what it is or at least that's what it represents to me then here is another little story and then here is more fabric on the six there is another story and of course just and some lace sewing too oh no, here is the number seven and i made a small drawing which has Again, the Pascua, Pascua Nochebuena o Cuatlazochil, and here is a book, and here is a pergamino, and there is a, you know, an old clock, and of course a butterfly, and here I wrote something like, waiting for your return, and then in Spanish uh, I wrote, esperando tu regreso, mi amado lector, meaning waiting for your return, my uh, my uh, dear reader so yes the books are waiting you know to be to be read or to be to be um, enjoying them to be able to be enjoying so um, here is another story that I just started this is one of my um, clips and has here a little teeny notebook so uh, to write I just a lot of a lot of thoughts in there <laughs> and big ones with a big huge letter here more of my little tags and collages and here is number eight the date and then here is a, a nice stamp from japan and here i wrote keep going no matter what this is another beautiful of my uh, little teeny uh, hangings from fa fabric and buttons just something a little simple ribbons the the fabric and buttons and sew it them then the next one will be another drawing and here is an a car which is uh, with a very Mexican theme which makes me to remember Mexico here is um, a nice bag with collage elements and here is another story to start here is a, I printed a piece of fabric and I add some other materials such as a jacquard a ribbon and lace and yes this one is from Rachel this is one of my tags made with a paper coin and I stamp it um, and then distress and of course some sewing with the lace and then the side here I have a, a different different figure so if we put it here you will have this lock in the side and that one so here is another tag which has some material such as lace and sewing and paper little book like I believe then here this is a little doggy and I I draw this doggy with her books she was a little 
lady dog and she's barking at me and, and it's happy and well she's gone she's dying and we bury her on this day so um, but she's telling me vive la vida you know live life she's gone but you have to keep going this is a small uh, tag too the was uh, the came with some ribbon and I just use it I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little bit more of that one I probably going to use this one as my template and maybe make more of them so here are some collages with uh, fabrics and uh, some uh, stamp that I added to this sheet of music and here is a little bit of hiding spot the, which I encase it with a little bit of a um, washi on these strips here is a tally card and it's like a booklet and it comes out it and, and just put it back and this was a 14 so this is another of my little clips and this is the other side of it I throw here a little butterfly butterfly are part of my uh, my daily basic drawings or paintings or ceramic when I do ceramic or when I do my paintings or drawings I have to use them for sure here is a little um, like a drawings too and here is a little bit more story oh yes it says here life is better when you have friends to share all kinds of things yes the ups and the downs this is a little stamp of a bird on a sheet of um, music. Then we go to the 17 and I just add a little bit some elements here to the such as materials like a lace, ribbon and um, I uh, this is you know to to do some uh, sweater I jar jar. This is another one with more hanging up of jar and threads on the 18 and more things here to little tag that you can put in this side or one that you can put it from this side so then another drawing here is the number 19 just hanging out this one with the little teeny pieces then I have you know using reusing that's all the point about using and reusing this a little button with the laces and here should be something like this which is not very okay I think it's much better there another of my drawings here another of my tags with the uh, uh, Jessica Raff inspirations here is just uh, lots of a uh, paper and fabrics putting together and then kind of shape of a little dress or something like that more just a little uh, of lace paper and threads a small a small um, a card and then within the card I add my clip and the clip there I like to put it hanging up you know so I like to, I I think I have a video that shows you how I do that one um, well this is the way I do it and inside the tag which is a vintage tag I like this tag because it's a very sturdy cardboard so nice this is like they are like 30 years old and I'm so happy with them so this is a small card and then here is another collage this one opens there 
when nothing is sure, everything is possible. The 22 is another little clip here. And another card. Then another collage piece that I found it and I glue it. This is another tiny little on the 25th. I add this vintage image and with this little symbol of peace and love and here is a tiny a small book so actually what I wrote here I drop I brought a uh, scriptures from the Bible and this is the tiny book and it's And description of the Bible is, I believe it's Matthew 1, 17. Yes, and finish it. And this side keeps going from there to, to this side. So that's the, what, that's what I wrote in there. And should be put the clip yes to secure yes so then 26 this is the pack it says peace love and health nothing in the back just a little bit distressed with some uh, painting and, and oh and actually there are two so can be a secret spot I like to use this um, brass and then can be something written in there and then to hide it then put it back so we went out to the 27 this is a secret spot and also tack, which hid in the belly band, which been distressed the, the back, and here is uh, the tack. Fate is the victory. And then, which got stuck with the glue then I didn't realize okay so here is another area to then we move to the 30 the 30 is uh, an ornament with some lace and the 31st is a small pack with some jacquard and the bog and the in the bottom in both sizes and then a small tack in the other side to more room to write and th that's it that was the 31st the end may your life be rich in happiness love and in great accomplishments y que el rebozo rodee tu vida de grandes momentos. Luego transfiere estos en el papel, escríbelos, dibújalos, ilumínalos, píntalos de color. Y así dejar grabadas las huellas de tus pasos por este paraíso llamado tierra. ¡Hasta la próxima!